What's going on? Move the mouse here back and see Skylines, the town of Wood Garden with our Let's Play Season 6, Episode number 7, I believe. And uh, I did do something offline, and that was to switch these over from regular sewage pumps into water treatment plants, which reduces most of the sewage. And then I moved the two uh, floating garbage collectors upstream so that it's catching any of the excess there. And if we look at pollution views now, you'll notice that, yeah, there's still a little bit of pollution in the water. It's not quite as clear as it is up here, but it's reducing so, so, so much of it. So this will slowly kind of wash out and we can stop worrying about that as more and more water flows in. In fact, if we speed it up, you can actually kind of see it happen uh, as it slowly erodes away that line of pollution, it's gonna fade it off down the river. The other thing was I did decide that it's going to be this tile that we're gonna buy next because I really want to get working on this highway. And I think I've got a pretty good idea of how to kind of contain the city in a aesthetically pleasing way. So we can fill in a little bit of trees over here. It's not too abrupt of a line, right? There's some good forestry right there. So we can basically fill all this in, but we're actually gonna just expand the downtown a bit and then maybe feather things off towards this side of the town. And then I want to use this island and this island and specifically kind of over here as part of the construction. And then I don't think we're gonna build or be able to get to build on those last couple just because of where kind of they sit. But I definitely wanna get at least these two north of here. Above those are where the ore and oil are at. And this one just kind of makes sense. So we'll have a kind of a square city. Maybe we'll have a nature reserve over here. Industry over this way. We'll connect it with some bridges and boats and ferries and all sorts of stuff so that workers can get back and forth, but also the goods. And it just occurred to me, do we not have train on this map? Or did I not buy the right tiles to get to the train? Is there not train on here? There might not be train. Uh, no train, no train. Yeah, so if there's train on this map, it's not easily accessible. And maybe, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Got some rocks up there. It's not going to help us out. Okay, so maybe we can do an internal only train route. <laughs> but let's get to work on the highway first. So we'll do one more T intersection. I do want to upgrade these to kind of trumpets at some point, but let's be quick about it. So if we were to bring that up here, let's pause and see where we delete from. So from that car to that truck. Just delete that. A little more than we have to on either side. It's totally fine. And we'll try and snap it onto that one. Slope too steep. Oh no. It doesn't look that steep. It's fine right there. Maybe we can angle it in a little different. So if we come down the hill just a little bit, it's okay. Let's do that and let's just hook our highway up. We'll just bend it a little bit. So we'll go over to highway. Let's go curved. And we'll go about halfway out. Whoops. Go about halfway out before we swing it back down. Let's do the same thing here. Try and keep them relatively parallel. We'll fix our directions in a minute. I'm going to freeform this one so we can kind of S-bend it back and forth. Do something like that. Will that let us... That's pretty good. And then, since this never works out quite right, 
Delete one piece on either side. We'll do that, and then we'll change directions. We'll figure out how to hook it in down below. Whoops. One extra there. And I'll go to my six lane. Did we do tree line streets here? We did. We did. Okay. We did tree line streets down there. So we'll do one straight segment. Oh, it's actually pretty good. A little bit of a bend, but that's pretty good. Back to highway one more time. Let's go two lanes. Curved. And bring it in like that. Direction, and then we'll upgrade. I like it. So this is going to be kind of a busier commercial strip. So let's zone that off accordingly. We do have a, a good bit of demand. The baby is hammering on something upstairs. I'm fairly certain you can hear that. Apologies. Um... But it happens. Sometimes I record episodes at night. Sometimes I record them in the middle of the day. When I can slip away for a few minutes. And uh, today is one of those days that it is during the day and the baby is awake. So we're going to continue on down with our monorail roads. But let's see how we did this. So we had an entirely empty block. And at the far end of the block after that is where we had the station. So, four lane roads with monorail, straight. We'll come out to there. And then one, two, three to there. So, one, two. so we'll delete these. We'll slap our station right there and that's where our next intersection will be. right there and then we'll connect that back up cheaper ways to do that but that's fine and let's see if I counted right so from here out one two three looks like I did perfect And we'll just fill all this in. This could be a little bit more of a continuation of our downtown. Let's see, though. I think that's where we start to kind of break things up. But let's connect all this through. Now, I do have to come back through and turn off the stoplights here. I don't think I did that either for that station. So let's do, uh, what, skip a block, end of the block. So we'll get one more monorail station in, and that'll be kind of our, our line right there. Let's just do this. We'll do two. We'll hook in the station, and we'll let that decide where the end of the road is. To start to mix things up a bit. And heck, while we're in here, let's come in and delete the old line. And create a new one that includes all of the stops now. All right. So that's where our high density will end. We'll do some sort of park or facility in here, and then we can separate things out a little bit.
And you can see this is kind of where it starts to become a little hilly. Just the slightest on this side, a little bit more on that side. But maybe we can do something with that. We could also fill that in with trees again and kind of use that as a natural barrier. And we'll get one more highway exit in over here at some point for that edge of the city. How's our pollution doing? Uh, I guess not so good since I'm not playing it. But we're getting there. A little foggy on this map. A little bit foggy. Water problems. Bring that on down. We'll just keep carrying the grid on by. It's the nice thing about when you do have organized pipes, you can just keep extending as you need to. Same with the grid work of the roads. But that should cover pretty much everywhere we need to go anytime soon. Now, we are not spreading power over here yet, so let's do some zoning. Specifically on the commercial front. Maybe we'll do a block of offices here. And here. And heck, let's fill this all in with offices too. Since we have all that demand. And then let's go see how our residential is doing. Is it... It's mostly filled up, but we still got some low density pockets over here that aren't. Let's try and incentivize them. Let's raise the land value up here a little bit. So we already had a basketball court and a tennis court there. Let's come up here. We got two abandoned buildings. Do a little plaza up here to remind you how beautiful life is next to all the pollution of the recycling plant. And heck, let's see if we can fit some more basketball courts and stuff. It'd be nice if we could put one on the center of this. That'd be kind of cool. Unfortunately, that doesn't work too well. Can we own right there? Let's do that. Where else is light? Over here. Make some people happy over there. Heck, why not? Let's just make a nice symmetrical campus. So garbage is a problem. How is our processing in the red? We've got two plants there, two plants there, three plants over there. Let's see what we zoned over here, because I think we could just do more we can do more office and fill this in with recycled plants. Let's get at least one more in here uh, and see what that does to our processing capabilities. I feel like this downtown area is going to be kind of the heaviest users of it. Let's put four there. See if that gets us anywhere out of the red. It does not. Okay, let's do four up here. And let's do four over here. <laughs> simple, simple solution. Just spam a bunch of plants down. Um, where can we get this one, though? No, we can't actually put it right next to those. So let's do that, I guess. We'll move things around, especially once we unlock the ultimate recycling plant. We'll need a lot less in terms of uh, recycling plants. Uh, last two power plants, let's just turn them on. Since we're having some power problems. Although that one way on the edge is not a problem of having a power plant on or off, is it? So let's just do that for now. Let's look at our zoning, or not our zoning, our districts.
So we have kind of a mixture of green and regular residents. Let's just take it up to this road. So we have a nice separation of it. We'll do that. And I think we will extend this over this way also. So all this stuff would here to the same standard. All right, and why didn't I finish these roads coming up through here? So zoning wise, commercial is a very uh, hot commodity right now. So maybe we could swap some of this out. Be right there. Get a little pocket of commercial in there. A little pocket of commercial right there. Why not? And on that corner, it's fine. We'll let some random businesses move in in between the other businesses. I'm fine with that. Let's see what we could do. I don't know if we're going to have any IT on this on this map. Maybe not. But I think I want to reserve at least another block over here. Or another collection of blocks, I should say, for some residential pocket over here. We definitely don't want residential down there. Let's do another office block here. I think we can get rid of these now. And heck, even uh, the recycling plant needs some administrative buildings, so let's do that. And now it is time for something that's long overdue, and that is coming through here and cleaning up the intersections. So you should always do this every once in a while, because as you add new crossroads, it's going to kind of reset the behavior of those new streets that you added on, and they'll behave just like they did when they were first connected. So let's let's clean this up. At least along the main street. We can do all the other streets later. Let's stop the traffic coming from any of these side streets. What's with all the traffic over here all of a sudden? Shouldn't you be taking that other exit? <laughs> what the heck? Um, well, that's interesting. How many of these are trucks? A couple trucks. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on that. The other one that we need to clean up is where we have that six lane road coming into the city. We don't need all these traffic lights. We want What we want is the, the side roads to just stop and have them yield right away so that people can get off the highway here. The fire going. Come right back to that in a minute. Um, we do want a traffic light though at the intersection here. So we'll do that. That's where the uh, the monorail Main Street meets this six lane road. But that should be pretty good from a traffic flow perspective, at least kind of opening things up a little bit. We've got to figure out why all of these cars are coming in all of a sudden because that that was down quite a bit. And it's got to be over here because I would think anywhere this way, it's going to be faster to come in. All that's watered. Let me see. Did we? I I lost track here. 
Did we level up again? Did we look at those things since last leveling up? So inspect on it and we'll go over here. Possible 757 workers. We need 800. So yeah, we just need more workers. I, I should have come over here and finished that. Um, let's see, I'm sure I got sidetracked doing something else. So forestry. 35 workplaces, 50. I don't know why I'm checking things that are locked. Um, 25, 45 on the sapling field. Does it fit there? Oh, it's perfect. Okay. That's a polluter. I think that's that the only polluter we have on property right now. So let's let's get some more raw goods. And then if we decide that we just have too much of that sitting around, we can shift our focus more towards uh, production chain rather than the actual resource gathering. So 892 possible workers. As soon as we hit 800, it should knock us up into the next level and tell us what that final cap's going to be. So let's stay tuned for a minute. Why would the police... <laughs> I don't understand what's going on over here. Okay, so it's covered. It jumps back and forth like the buildings are turning on or off. It doesn't make any sense. Um, we'll I have to really keep an eye on that and figure out... If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments what's going on with that. 797 come on stay employed 99 level question mark right oh no we still have a lot of production to go wow okay but that's for level five were we already we already at level four man i not paying attention apparently here uh new factories do we have anything here I'll have to really go through these, and I think we'll end up moving all of that industry out. That's still straggling over here. We'll probably get rid of this commercial pocket, too. Maybe do a little strip mall close to the road. But, uh, but yeah, we need to make some room. I guess we could use up here, too. Hook that into the, uh, the roundabout. That should be fine. Traffic-wise, where are we at? 90%. I love it. So, yeah, we've got... Uh, we've got a particularly problematic intersection right there. We've got heavy traffic happening along here. Everything's kind of speeding along nicely on this uh, this area. We'll see, though, once we fill it in with a ton more office. So let's leave that. Maybe we'll get a couple more residential neighborhoods up there, up at the top. And let's kind of fill it in with some trees so we get a sense of what it's going to look like eventually. So we'll kind of build into that area. I want to be careful over here because you don't want to create this real hard edge of trees and then there's nothing over here. Right, because it won't let me plant trees outside the map. Kind of like that. Now this will get filled in a little bit more still. And then we'll fill in this corner with some stuff over there. And we've got to do maybe a park over here. So we will uh, we'll continue to tune and tweak. But I, I like the way this one's coming together. Um, Industries is definitely adds a nice touch. Once you get your head around kind of how they work, it's it's kind of cool to put some of this stuff in place. Production chain management and factories and kind of shape things into doing what you want. Um, it's definitely a unique twist. I'm glad it's finally on consoles. Fingers crossed that uh, campus comes sometime soon, but they did say I think that one's going to be much, much further out. 
But we'll we'll find out, and if I find out, I will uh, share what I can when I can. But in the meantime, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Season Six Industries. Let's uh, let's do some cinematic flybys. Well, we uh, let's uh, let the cinematic flyby play us out, so to speak, as Bill O'Reilly would say, play us out. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did. Likes, comments, shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord to get involved in the discussion. Until the next one, though, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.